one more thing coffee obviously okay hello guys i'm sitting really far away from the camera because i want to make sure you can obviously see everything oh my cup address is right there do i have anything else that's showing it shouldn't be no okay i want to be sitting far away from the camera so i can show you everything that i'm doing but as you can tell from the title we're making my or our i'm making our save the dates yusuf doesn't really have a desire to do this and i love this type of stuff so i'm happy to do this on my own i do not care honestly i'd kind of prefer to do it on my own because i'm picky and i know i'd probably be annoying about the way he's doing it versus the way i'm doing it and all that stuff so yeah i am making our save the dates i decided to make them myself instead of getting them done um just because i wanted to so that's what we're doing today i will show you everything that i have in front of me i'll run through all the like supplies materials that i'm using um obviously we'll make them together just a little bit of background in case you're new here um usually my videos are way more casual so i know it's weird that my camera's like set up i even have a ring light on because the lighting was really dark over here so that's definitely a bit different for my channel um but my name is sarah in case you are new here i'm getting married to my fiance yusuf in october of 2023 so we are just a little bit under a year away from the wedding we live in florida we're gonna have the wedding here in central florida um, a bit actually pretty close to us so that's a little bit of background i promise i'll get into it in just a second but yusuf is from india he's actually going back to india in a few weeks to visit friends and family so i want to get these done now so that he can bring the save the dates for all his like his side of people and stuff from india so that he can just like hand them out while he's there instead of us mailing them and them getting lost and all that stuff so I don't know why I felt the need to share that with you all, but that's what we're doing today. Let's jump into it. Before we jump into the materials super quickly, I'll also pop up a specific TikTok because this is the TikTok that gave me like the inspiration for our save the date. So credit to that. Um, but you can kind of see like the gist of what I'm going for. So really quickly, I have a paper cutter, a hole punch. Um, I also have a custom wax seal, which I'll show you guys in a second. This is the, um, I forget the exact terminology, but it's like a grommet and eyelet set or maker. I don't know what to call it, um, but it's what's going to allow us to, or like the save the dates to like spin because there's going to be like two layers if you guys saw on the TikTok. So that's for that. I have a hot glue gun. As you can tell, I did put some of the wax in here just because I was trying it out. Um, I have invitations. I am printing the um well I, just, I can show you this part i'm printing the addresses on the invitations and then i'm going to put our return addresses on the back but i think they look really good i just designed that on canva i have a pencil a ruler this is vellum paper so I got from amazon they are eight and a half by 11 sheets like normal printer paper size which is why i got the paper cutter so i could cut the vellum to size um, and then in terms of let me show you really quickly in terms of what is actually on the vellum i again designed this on canva it just says sarah and yusuf save our date the date of our wedding and then the location of our wedding obviously more details will come when we send our invitations so made that out of the vellum paper and again just printed it on our own printer i have some adhesive dots to actually seal the envelopes as well as our envelopes i believe these are a seven envelopes they're um like five and a quarter inches by seven and a quarter inches and they're in this cream color i wasn't sure if i wanted to do white or cream but i'm very happy i decided on cream um and then i have our wax sticks so we did get that custom wax seal like i told you so we're doing a white black gold and pops of like a navy blue so i got navy blue wax um sticks and when I was practicing or like kind of starting to do this yesterday, I realized we're going to need way more wax sticks. I only got this one pack. So I ordered a ton more um, on Amazon that are going to come the next couple of days. But I figured I could still start these with you guys. And then lastly, for the actual kind of like what's going in the, what am I saying? The actual save the day pretty much. So I can't show you all this because there is some stuff I'm gonna have to blur or cover because it has like personal details about our wedding. But this is what it looks like. We did a little photo shoot with my mom. So she took the pictures underneath. Um, you can obviously slide the vellum paper kind of like back and forth, which I just love that style. I think it's really pretty. And then on the back of it, we have our logo. That logo is the same one that's on the wax seal. And I got that done on Etsy and then some information about like our wedding website at the bottom. Last 
lastly i'll show you our wax seal so it just is the s and y again custom done on etsy but i was trying this out yesterday and it seemed to be working really well and it was very easy so i know that was a lot but i did want to run through that i was trying to go quickly but um in case you are actually wedding planning and hoping to get some ideas or like help or tips whatever throughout this video that is everything that i grabbed again most everything is from amazon except for the few things that i like custom did like etsy and things from canva quickly like i mentioned i did already print out the vellum sheets and cut them to size as well as i made i believe 20 save the dates yesterday off camera just because i was getting the gist of it um but we're gonna jump in right where i left off I'm gonna grab the vellum sheets if I can find them. And um, we're gonna just jump right in. I need to hole punch the save the dates with the vellum sheets, add the little grommet, and then we'll go from there. stack of these i think probably have like 10 ish here but super quickly a little close up this is what they look like so you can like kind of slide them out like that it has the grommet right there and then like i said on the back we cover up our website that's what it looks like so i think it looks really good i did want to show you what we're doing for our envelopes so like i said we just have those like cream ones and i'm printing stuff on them so this is obviously a mess up, so I'll show you this one. Um, but it says deliver to. I, again, just designed that on Canva. And then we have the address and the person's name right there. As you can tell, this one was a fail. And then on the back of the envelope on the flap, I am putting Sarah and Yusuf and then our return address. So that is the envelope. And then I'm going to, I mean, pretty straightforward. I'm just going to stick the save the dates in each envelope. This is really hard to do with nails, I realized. Doing like paper product type things with these nails is very difficult although these aren't like fake nails but it's just so annoying okay if i can get this in here that would be great all right so that is it when it's in there i'm gonna use these little adhesive things like i said if i can figure out how to open this what is happening i feel like i can't do anything right now they're just like little dots so i'll stick that on the oh actually i'm realizing right now the envelope has a part where you can peel and just stick it that way so i'll probably do that instead and then i'm gonna plug in my hot glue gun and obviously do the little wax seal which super easy to do the wax seal i did a couple practice ones yesterday like i was saying but you really just do like a little dot of the wax you put this on i let this rest on there for maybe like 10 to 15 seconds without moving it and then it ends up looking like this obviously this is not the color we're doing for the wax but this is what it'll look like so that is next on the list and then i mean that's pretty much it for our save the dates i wanted to keep them very simple and i'm definitely going to tie in our invitations into like this style so let's do it i don't know how i'm going to film all this because there's going to be addresses but i'm going to try i don't know we'll see Also, if you're wondering, I'm covering up our address over here, which is why this little piece of cardboard is there. One thing I did realize though, also I know my head is cut out, but I just wanna say something real quick. One thing I did realize is that I need to make sure that the wax seal is like facing right way. So like when you're holding the envelope, you're looking at the logo the right way. So I think I'm gonna draw a little arrow pointing up to the right way of the um, wax seal on the back of this little wooden handle, just cause Right before I placed it, I was like, oh shit, I need to make sure I'm doing that right. All right, it hardens pretty fast, so let's do a little lift. Oh my god, it's so pretty! And that is the wax seal. I think it looks really pretty. It's hard to see in this lighting because it is dark, but in real life, like in person, you can definitely see what it looks like. And I think that looks amazing. I'm so happy. I think they look so pretty. I'm going to do a bunch more of these, and then and that's pretty much it, but I'll do a few more and show you guys, like how I'm doing them just in case you're curious.
really much it. I feel like my under eyes are looking so dark right now. I don't know why. I think it's the lighting. Um, but that really, I mean, is it for the invitations. I just did another one and I don't think I put enough wax. So it's a little less. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It still looks good, but um, yeah, that's it. I love how these are turning out. I'm so excited to finally send them out. I got out all my um, bridesmaid boxes, which I showed in a different video, but I've gotten like obviously responses from the people that are gonna be my bridesmaid and like my maid of honor from those boxes. So I just feel like everything wedding related is finally coming to like fruition and everything I've kind of planned, I mean, just for like this type of stuff is finally happening and it's really exciting. So I know it's only gonna get more exciting from here, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was different than what I usually do. I usually do like vlogs and stuff in case you're new here, um, but I just wanted to show you, but I just wanted to show you these. I wanted to share like wedding planning stuff with me what but i still wanted to share i love sharing like wedding planning stuff with you guys so let me know if you're enjoying it um let me know what other like wedding type videos you'd like to see if you would like to see any more i also just realized you can see <laughs> sully in the corner back there but thank you guys for watching thank you for staying to the end and i'll see you in my next video bye guys